What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video in today's video We got a few more trucks in the shop as you guys can see here uh, immediately on our left here. We got a new uh, blah, 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 2017 Dodge power wagon 2500 we also got a brand new Kenworth semi. I think this is literally called Yep, the Kenworth K100 Optimus Prime because I think it has a livery setting where you can make this thing look like Optimus Prime, which is pretty neat, pretty cool. Um, but today, the big the big thing we're doing is going to be this F350. Um, after doing that Gavril D series, I decided we should do an F350 off-road edition. So big, bigger tires, um, probably fully built motor, probably don't do, yeah, yeah, do the 4x4 and don't do the Boss or Coyote instead so that's what we're gonna be doing today um i think we're gonna start with wheel suspension first and body and then we'll do the uh or the other stuff in the next episode also don't you worry the srt that we did in yesterday's video we will finish this we still we just finished the motor the v10 in there that the viper v10 uh it's pretty pretty crazy motor um we're, we will finish this. I just have to do... I'm going to do this one first. And then we'll hop back onto this one next. Just because I've been looking for an F350. And I finally found one in the junkyard. Uh, I had to go in and play with the game settings files. Uh, to make it pop up in the junkyard. Because I wanted to rebuild one. Uh, but hey. We got one. We finally got one. So let's move this over to lifter A. Uh, as you guys can see. Overall condition. Does it even have... The heck is wrong with this bed? This bed is weird. This probably this is a weird like this is no like actual paneling on it. That's really really weird. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's in a really bad shape. Frame is okay. Frame is almost forty percent. Uh, only six. How does it get six thousand miles? Then look like this. That's my question. It's pretty bad. Um, all right, let's start out with. Let me pull some of this stuff out of the engine bay here real quick, just because we don't want it in here. We have a transmission jacked up. Uh, we do. Okay. Well, we're just gonna pull all the engine stuff out real quick. Not even the engine. We're just gonna pull out all this, all this little stuff. Servo, ABS. Alrighty. There we go. Uh, let's get the battery thrown on the tender while we finish the rest of this work here. Uh, we're gonna use our detailing kit and hopefully fix that interior. And then exterior, which is not too bad, honestly. Oh, getting a little laggy. Exterior, we're going to weld up together. I'm really excited on this Optimus Prime build, though, right here. It's an i6. Uh, does this front part lift up? I don't think so. It's weird, though. Whoa. Where is even... Oh, the... oh, there's the motor. The motor's in the dead center. So you got to pull off the front end to get in there to that motor. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think those are the only two semi-trucks. Is these, this one and the Gavril T-Series are the only two in the game, which is kind of a shame. If you guys know that there's another one, though, please leave a comment and let me know. Ooh, interior is looking fresh. I like it. Okay. See, that's just so funny. There's, like, there's these four columns here, and each one of these is, like, gets progressively, like, harder and easier so pretty difficult or like this one's difficult this one's the hardest part to do super easy super easy because these are one clicks done this one you just gotta change the body and this one you gotta do every single part there's not like an engine parts condition there's not a suspension parts condition it's all in one which is kind of annoying honestly y'all let me show you this really quick all right so here is the transformation bam Ooh, hey so it did the entire rear part of this. Oh, so you put fenders on over this bad boy. Okay. So that is just the straight clamshell without any fenders on it. That's that's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, we're going to slap this thing together with all the body parts it needs real quick. Just because that will give us a better look at how we're doing on, uh, on like the tires. Once you have all the body parts on there, you can kind of tell a little bit better on how everything looks. Let's get this up. All right. Hold on. We need to pop these tires off really quick. I think these are probably going to be what? 17s or 18s? 
Didn't tell me, did it? Uh, 20s. Wow, okay. Alright, so these are 20s. So we'll probably bump these up to a 21 and then throw on some thicker tires to make this a little bit more of an off-road addition. And then, of course, we're going to switch to a 4x4. Um, it has the transfer case in there, but I don't think it's working if it doesn't have the 4x4 in it. Come on. Yeah, right now it's just the, the single overhead cam boss motor. It's not the 4x4, so I'm not sure if it works or not, but once we switch it, it'll for sure be working, and then we can go test it out on the off-road course just to make sure. Okay, there we go. Those are gone. We're going to start. Should we, should we even separate these? Let me make sure they're all the same. Uh, let's write it down real quick. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, what are these? These are 275, 65-20s. Okay. Those are pretty big, like, base. Um, I think we're going to keep this same type of factory color here, though, because it's a really good... Ooh. Actually, no, we're gonna switch to a lighter blue because I really want to do a lighter blue on this uh, with black rims. Let me show you guys here. Um, it was the Pagani rim. Okay, maybe we shouldn't do the Pagani rim. Ah, uh, you know what? We're doing it. We're gonna do the Pagani rims. They might be a little bit more expensive, but I don't care. They're all blacked out and they look really good. Uh, okay, so we need four of these, and then we need to grab our tires. So we're going to do off-road tire B. Four of them. We're going to do 20s. Uh, with 275. Uh, let's do 325. Profile. So the other ones was 65, and they were the same. Uh, we'll probably do 90. Yeah, we'll do 90. They should be a little thicker, so they should should slap on there a lot better. I hope at least. Let's find out. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Them some big ones. Them some big ones. Oh my golly gee, these things are huge. Alright, let's slap this on really quick. Make sure this thing even fits in the wheel well. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta balance it first. It's like, why is this not going on? You gotta balance it. Okay, so not only is it wider, but it's also just straight up larger in general. Uh, let's see if I can repair any of these parts. I ripped out of here. Yeah, I'm going to need that front fender repaired anyways. Alright, just finished. Perfect timing. Okay, so let's put on this front fender real quick. Just so we got a little bit better. Okay, yeah. We can, we can see this a little bit better. Ooh, mama, that is a lot of tire. Hey, it fits. Oh my gosh, what are the odds of that? Okay, it's a little bit, it's hitting a little bit right here, but honestly, I can't, I can't drop it. I was about to drop it. Uh, honestly, though, oh my gosh, honestly, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we're gonna take it back off just because we need to have it off to finish the rest of the suspension here. But hey, tires are good to go. Uh, we'll load the rest of them on here real quick. We're going to purge the inventory here real quick. Let's get rid of all these basic rims we have. I don't know why we have these. Alright, bounce this guy. Oh, yeah, these are... These are like almost almost the size of the bus tires. These aren't like 500s. These are these were like 325s. The bus tires were huge, um, but the rims though the rims make it so much better. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're slapping on. What was it six six to eight thousand dollars worth of wheel and tire combo? I'm re I'm really looking forward to this one. So we'll have an off-road F-350. We will have a towing F-350, which is the other one we have. Uh, just because it's kind of like, it's a basic, solid F-350. But this one, oof. This one will be for nothing but pure fun. Okay. Now that that's done, 
Let's throw on all the body parts we still have. Why did that change color? Still have the hood, right? Yes. Maybe I have a different door from something else, actually. Because I know I did have some extra parts laying around. Oh, hey. Yep, same door. Okay, so we're going to need... We'll, we'll start with everything in the rear, all right? So we're going to need fenders, taillights, trunk, and bumper. Uh, body tuning shop. Let's see if we got any F-350 stuff in here. No Ford stuff. Okay, that's all right. What the heck? Oh, that's the inside. Duh. Wait, this is not... It's not community cars. This is actual car that this game... That the creators of this game made. Okay, come on. 350. There we go. Jeez. All right. So. Left fender. Right fender. Trunk. Tail light. Tail light. Mirror. Mirror. Headlight. Headlight. Rear bumper. And then we'll do right side door right side fender left side no we'll wait on that i don't know if we have i don't know if we need the rear door okay we do but hey, it's better for me to wait and not waste the money on it okay we'll get the windows next uh, we got the headlights we did not get the bumper yet though So we still need to grab all the glass for the car, the truck. We'll get the front bumper uh, from over here. So we'll buy every piece of glass that we need because I know you can't repair the glass. Okay. Making sure we're good. All right. And then normal mode. All right. Pop that bad boy out. Any more? Give me that rear window. Then we're gonna want the back left passenger door. Check. All right, there we go. Now we should be able to slap this whole thing together. Yeah, because the other one was way too damaged. Ooh, hey, this thing had most of the glass on it. If it had a door, it had the glass. And then the rear. Rear's done. All right, what are we looking like now? Okay, let's get some plates on here. So we're going to do this one. Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what we should do. It. Maybe I'll just do a random. I'll just do a random plate. Uh, but I do have special plates. Yes, here they are. So they are... These are some weird plates up there, though. Wow. So I have some hunter plates. Duck truck. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Let me see here. Browning. I do. I do like browning. Um, we're gonna go with the American flag and this one's super cheap really oh my gosh okay we'll just do two of these we'll just take a random number on them because I really don't care what this one says that much okay so you can't really see it but you know it's just the fact that it's there there we go body condition a hundred percent we got what one two three different colors on this we got a uh, matte gray we got this weird dark blue and a nice green which i don't know how we got the green in there Alrighty, there we go all right so next order of business is going to be uh dropping the suspension taking it all out uh changing out the transfer case let's see we got any we don't even have any exhaust in here all the exhaust pipes are like basically gone we have what three pieces out of the 10 needed no fuel filter either. Okay, we're going to go through. I'm going to redo all of this. I'm probably going to time lapse it just because you guys have seen exhausts 100 times over. Uh, so we're just going to go through do this entire thing real quick. And then we'll hop back in, slap the tires on there, roll this sucker into the paint booth, and be done after that because I think this will be look really, really good painted and with them big tires on here. All right, so give me a second, guys. I'll see you when that is done.
And there we go, guys. As you guys saw there, I just finished the entire suspension. Uh, and Oh, wow, I had an extra. And just one just quick run through. Uh, time to do our exhaust real quick. And then we're going to take this puppy into the paint booth. I am so ready. Um, red muffler BV8. All right. So rear. Dang it. I'm just type in muffler because we're going to need a bunch of mufflers. All right. Rear muffler BV8. Middle muffler. Got him. Check. And check. What about exhaust pipe C? Well, do we got pipe in here? Exhaust pipe C. There she is. Probably going to want catalytic converter, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe this thing doesn't have cats. Oh, let me switch my view. Okay, middle mufflers. Yep, they're the cats. And then front exhaust pipe B. Uh, just exhaust B. Front exhaust pipe B. I think this is the one. I didn't see if it said V8 on it. Okay, it did. Oof. I was a little worried there. I was like, oh, I think I just bought the wrong one. All right, there we go. The entire suspension and the exhaust, except for the uh, the, the manifold. Everything except for the manifold uh, is done. Let me drop this bad boy down here. Oh, I am so excited for this. Maybe black. Black would look really good on this. Uh, that's already rose the value so much. Oh my gosh. It's now worth 134000 yeah, that's uh, quite the uh, quite the improvement there, sir. Let's move this bad boy. What the heck? Who is in my paint booth? Oh, huh. SRT is. I forgot. Uh, I'll move this poor guy back over to garage entrance A. I probably shouldn't have put a rusted truck in here anyways. It's probably a bad idea. I want to keep that paint booth clean. Uh-oh, spun me around. All right. Close us in. I guess I should... Oh, what if you did like a red, white, and blue? Like you put body panels on, painted it, took them off, painted it a different... Mmm. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. Okay. This truck is almost too big for the paint booth. Let's just crank this brightness up all the way. Saturation up all the way. And there you go. Now we get every color we want. Oh. That is kind of purple. Ooh, that's nice blue. I really like this shade of blue right here. Sadly, I'm not live streaming. I can't ask you guys his exact uh, opinion on it, but I think it looks really good with the black uh, fenders and everything. I black wheels, black rim, everything. Just everything. It looks, it looks really good in my opinion. And I love the, I love the American flag right here. That looks pretty cool. I think it looks really good though. I think we're gonna go with it, and. Yeah, I think I just think it's really good. And it's metallic too, so no big deal. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. If that if I was going to own a truck in real life, cuz I, I don't own a truck. Uh, it would 100% either be it'd probably be a Ford, probably. Uh, it would be either it doesn't really matter, 150, 250, 350, either one in this blue right here. I'd take it. I would take it in a heartbeat. It would It would be just absolutely amazing. That didn't change the value of the car. Dang it. Uh, truck, I mean, truck. Oh, I got you saying that. Uh, but yeah, uh, engine will be in the next episode, guys. We're going to be doing a full rebuild on this engine. We're going to switch it out. Uh, we we got to tear it down to the block anyways. Uh, we're going to try and reuse the block for our 4x4 build. I don't think you have a different... Maybe the boss has a little bit more horsepower than the 4x4. But I'm not sure because we're just going to switch out to that one because, you know, 4x4 off-road. And the whole point of this bad boy here is going to be that. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying this episode so far, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Uh, so we got this this one finishing up soon. We got the SRT finishing up soon. And then we're hopping into the Ram here, the Power Wagon, which is absolutely amazing. We're doing this. We're going to do this one orange just because I love the orange on this on this truck right here. Uh, and then we'll do Optimus, and then we will do the Mustang, and we got a couple more things to do. 
so many projects, so little time. Uh, you guys know how it is. But if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.